Hi guys, it's CryptoRocco here and in today's video, I'll talk about how you can learn to use the Gartley pattern to trade in the cryptocurrency market. So guys, I'll start off with talking about what Gartley pattern is, where it came from. I'll draw it step by step so you can understand it in a simple way. And then guys, I'll give you a live example of where a Gartley pattern could be potentially forming. So guys, Initially guys, I'll try to keep this video to about 15-20 minutes so you get all the right information that you need but please do your own back testing and analysis before you start using this. Any strategy or any ideas that I give you in this video, uh, these are just my thoughts guys. You need to practice it and learn it yourself before you can use it. In this 15-20 minutes, I should be able to give you a very good introduction uh, and give you the information that you need to start trading it but before you try anything guys, make Make sure you learn it, make sure you practice and backtest to see if you can grasp this uh, this technique. This is not a very, although it looks complicated guys, trust me it is not very complicated. I'll try to draw it step by step to make it as simple as possible. So guys without further ado, let's get into the video. So it was first introduced by H.M. Gartley in his book Profits in the Stock Market and it contains a bullish ABCD pattern uh, preceded by a significant high or low uh, point X and you can see it looks like an M or a W in the chart depending on whether it's a bullish or a bearish, a leading indicator that helps determine where and when to enter a long buy position and or where to exit a short sell position. This is a very powerful pattern guys, you can analyze it yourself. I know some city traders in London and they just trade the Gartley pattern they just wait for it I'm not necessarily a strictly Gartley uh, pattern trader I am aware of it I do keep an eye out for it I you, if you watch my videos you know what my trading style is I'm not necessarily a Gartley pattern trader but it is a very very good pattern and you can learn a lot from it so guys um, I'll take you through some examples as well but first of all guys I would like to draw this out for you so you can understand it yourself so this is like an ideal Gartley pattern this is what I look for so let's get into the charts and I'll draw it out for you from start to finish so the first leg is an impulsive le uh, let me make that slightly bigger so first leg is the impulsive leg this is the X legs that I showed you guys this is uh, where is it gone Right, so this is the X leg that I showed you guys. So this is X8. So this is the main uh, impulsive. So that's what you look for initially. An impulsive move up, not a, a, a small move up, an impulsive wave up. Once you get that, guys, then you need to look for a retracement. I'll talk about what retracement I look for. So that's the A. So that's the impulsive A that we look for. Once we found the impulsive uh, leg up, because in, in this we're talking about a bullish up, then we need to look for a uh, to get our Fibonacci up and we need to look for a 618 retracement. So guys, we need a retracement to the 618 level. That's the ideal level. And uh, some people say it's a higher or lower, but this is what I look for. So if it's around there, maybe you can if you're trading Forex, you could look for five to six pip around that level. But let's say this is the, the, the perfect one that we're trading. And the other level is seven, eight, six. But yeah, there's a few different patterns. There's cipher pattern, bat pattern. There's different patterns that people trade. I'm talking to you, talking to you today about the ideal pattern that I like to trade them. Um, there, but there are a few different patterns that you could learn about. If you really enjoyed this today's tutorial, uh, you could look to learn that yourself. So um, I'll keep that on so you can see it then we need a leg higher so the next leg higher and um, again there's few discrepancies I'm sharing with you what I think is is an ideal pattern and what I like to look for this one also needs to be 618 retracement of the A to B so of the A to B let me draw that out for you guys Let me know in the comment sections below if you're if I'm going too fast or going too slow or this is too simple for you. But I'm trying to make sure that everyone understands it. So some people want this to the six one three eight two six one eight. I like it to run 
the 618 to 786 but it cannot go higher than the A level so let's leave it at the 786 or uh, around that level but it cannot go above that uh, A if it goes above A then it's an invalidation it cannot go above that so keep that in mind guys and also remember remember these levels because when I do look at the live chart example I will be talking about this uh, let's move it up to there so it looks prettier and it looks neat so once we get that level then we need to look for a leg down again this might seem complicated to you guys but when you are trading it a lot this will seem very very simple to you this will come second nature to you and these patterns will pop out to you you wouldn't have to think about it so this is the C uh, B to C level that we look at now we look for a leg down and this leg down I like it to be the 786 and I'll talk about a few more things um, let's to make it even a stronger pattern this is just how I trade it guys make sure you practice and find your own levels your stops where you enter um, look at how other people trade it I'm giving you my thoughts on it and how I like to trade it and from my back testing this has been profitable to me so first thing that I look for is C I want C to be 786 of X to A this is the first thing I look for so if it's around that level I am happy the closer it is to X the better because my stop will be less so if I enter at D I'd probably depending on a uh, how I'm trading it usually my stop will be below X so that will give me a decent profit um, risk to reward and that is it's really whenever you enter don't ask how much you can win ask yourself how much am I risking how much can I can I lose so that's one thing then the next thing uh, it's the, it should be the if you extend it from B to C it should hit the one 272 level this is the perfect example I'm drawing that's why they're all matching up usually they don't the, the more confluence you get the better so this guys actually let me move that out let me move it out of the way so you can see the different ones so this one guys oh you can see that it is it can get quite confusing as you can see once you practice a this will come second nature to you as you can see guys this is from B to C and that D C the ending point of C to D is around the 1.272 that is what I like to see more confluence and even better confluence I like to see is a B equals C D that is my bread and butter of trading this is the main thing I look for when I'm trading so I like these to be equal if they are equal as you can see so if 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 it retraced to around that level I would be looking to buy and I don't just leave an order there I like to look for price action um, but yeah so there's three confluences that I'm looking for for D first is around the 786 level from X to A second one is 1.272 extension of B to C and the final one not a lot of people use it is um, equal from A to B so if you take A to B and drop it here they should be around the equal equal length so that is the Gartley pattern guys I hope this makes sense to you let me bring this in for you guys so this is the Gartley pattern and this is how they explain it if you want this I mean uh, my email address is below if you want some of these steps I could email it out to you these are not any secrets I'm happy to share I would like to help you guys I'm not charging anything if you find it helpful just smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more info I would really like to help you guys and this is a pattern that definitely can play out in Bitcoin again it's not happened yet I've not entered it entered the trade yet but there is a strong strong possibility so guys to recap from step to step by step I'll just quickly read this out to you so you can understand the XA move could be any price activity on the chart there are no specific requirements in relationship to the XA price move of the Gartley pattern I like to see an impulsive a strong move not a haphazard move then it could be a corrective wave I want to see a strong uh, impulsive move up a B should approximately be 618 um, of the X a size which is what we've seen guys 618 percent of um, of X X a size uh, and so if the X a move is bullish then a B move should reverse the price action and should reach the 618 fib retracement BC should should then reverse a B at the same time the BC should move finish either on 638 2 fib level or the 886 fib level again it's I I'm, the one that I drew is finished near the 886 level um, 
CD, so it cannot reverse over AB. I'm not sure if it's uh, written that. CD should reverse the BC move. Then if BC is 38.2%, 30, then AB should re re respond to 127.2 extension of BC. If BC is 886, then AB sh uh, should be an extension of 161.86%. Mine's like the example that I've given is slightly different. Then there is the last rule of the Gartley pattern. When the CD move is complete, you should measure AD, measure the AD. A valid Gartley on the chart will show an AD move, which is 786% retracement of the XA move, which is what we've got. So guys, Finally, the thing that I'd like to talk to you about is um, the profit targets. So some people have an aggressive profit target of 61.8 fib retra uh, retrace extension of XA. So that is a very, very big profit target some people have up there. I look, I look to take half off as soon as I see a big resistance, probably around this level when there's previous resistance. I look at the chart and talk about it. That's just my way of trading. Again, you could backtest and learn it and try to trade it slightly differently. That is how I trade it. Um, but yes, yeah, some do reach that level. I've taken some trades. I've taken. I've taken profits over there. Um, it does work, but it's very. I mean, finding Gartley patterns is not easy. That you don't see them often. They're like, um, they're like special little charts that come up, but they're very, very, very high probability. And like I said, some people just wait for a chart pattern to to appear for a Gartley pattern to appear. Um, some of the examples, some of the examples, I mean, I could show you the Bitcoin charts, but I'd like to keep this video to make it not too longer than 15, 20 minutes. I, I, I want to make sure that you watch this full video and it all makes sense. Some of the examples uh, th that you can find this on this website, they're all Forex examples, but you see them in Bitcoin a lot as well. I've, I think I've done two trades on Bitcoin um, uh, where I took, it was a Gartley pattern. And one of them was very profitable. Other one, I took a stop loss because um, probably I was trying to fit it into a Gartley pattern. So that's another thing. If you try and force it into a Gartley pattern, sometimes they don't work. The best one is, is like I said, I always find A, B equals C, D and all the retracement, retracements work very well. So as you can see, it's a nice Gartley pattern, 786, that level, which we had as well and a strong bullish up move. Then it formed another one and it got another pump. Um, so there are some some bearish and bullish setups guys uh, this is a bullish one that you can see xa seven eight this is a six one eight percent and boom it goes up so there's different different patterns that they've drawn a great website is baby pips i've talked about that website many of times i could take you through a lot of examples but again this is a crypto video so i'll be giving you a live crypto example where this could be happening so my chart is a bit messy guys but I, I've posted this chart on Twitter and it has been going well guys if you follow me on Twitter I, 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 I sometimes I provide trade signals again I share these are my thoughts guys I want you to do your own research before just buying because I said I'm buying but some of them guys it, it does work out quite well I'm not saying I get all, all of them right and um, I took a quick stop loss today and um, I'm in a position now and um, I'm looking to kind of go long uh, for a quick scalp um, in Ethereum because Ethereum is dropped hard and there could be some good opportunities to scalp so i'm keeping it i'm in a small position guys i'm in profit but i'll see i'll get out i might have to get out actually after this video is done yeah because it was just kind of the bottom fishing play rsi was literally down the drain it's kind of risky trade yeah i'll need to uh, look at this position when i'm once i've done this video right guys so let's do, finish this video do the live example what i am looking for for bitcoin i think i need to do it in the one hour chart would be better yeah that level that level that i'm looking for is not on this chart it's in in my other other trading view account i need to do it again i had the retracements ready for this tutorial no, I think you'll learn more if I do the live retracements. So guys, first retracement is the 618 level pullback. Have we got that? Boom. It's not a perfect one, but you can see it's very close to it. I would call it, yes, you could take it. So that's the first thing that we look for. Once we've got that, guys, next thing we look for is this pullback. So where does this pullback to? 
so to make it easier let's get rid of all the other retracements then you could see it better I'll just have the one that I'm looking at for so so now we're looking for the 886 pullback so let's have a look how this is done so this is the V leg this has this is in between that level that I talked about 786 886 level so as you can see this counts as well and it's forming this Elliott wave pattern this triangle or this wedge that could potentially break down I'll, I've talked about it in my previous video two different scenarios where I could see it going higher up there or kind of reaching that so it could form this Gartley pattern reach that and broke down and um, so you need to keep an eye out for them so that's uh, so that that meets the second rule so let's bring the, our rules down again if you want this let me know just email me below um so so that's what we look for the cd move the cd move should be that 38% which we've got so these two have met now the ad where do we want this ad to be so guys this hasn't so so this i need to get the 786 level up here as well where's the 786 so we wanted to hit the 786 level unfortunately this hasn't hit the 786 level yet has it done an a b c d which we were looking for it hasn't done that yet let me find out where that is the equal measured moves that i love to see is around the 786 similar sort of range and finally the other thing was 1.272 that i look for do i get that as well let's hide these and get the 1.272 out again you don't need that much confluence sometimes people just don't look for that but as you can see all these levels meet my box and I had this box drawn before so all these levels match that box if it drops and price action is looking bearish for for Bitcoin now it could drop to this level guys and it could give us that pump I'm not in like I said I'm, I might be scalping it here and there but I'm not in a big position if it comes here and I see a sort of reversal I would definitely definitely enter where would I look to exit so to be for let's talk about stops because we need to understand stops before every anything if it turns around and it's a strong pivot you could leave it here safer people like to put their stops below there I'd leave it up to you you need to under, do your own analysis and find out where you want your stops to be target wise there is resistance here resistance this this resistance wasn't really looked at so I might get rid of that actually so two positions I'd mainly be looking for for taking profits is round this level is probably a 50% level as well my fibs obviously not working but yeah so those are the two resistance I'm mainly looking for so I would take half my profits around that level always lock in profits guys and then where could my target be so if we follow the other rule of the 618 retrace, uh, retracement where could this uh, takers this could potentially so you usually look to A to D so if you do A to D 168 and there we go 1618 this actually hits that level as well there's some confluence as you can see this previous resistance and this all meets up um, so if it works out again there, there's lots of confluences guys uh, like I've said this place I'm giving you three confluence this previous resistance there as well and that 618 what this this chart was saying the what 61.8618 percent fib extension of ad is perfect what we got um so if we get that we could potentially hit this 618 level and i've just um realized when i did that 618 ex uh, extension i did it from x to a and not x to d so this is where it should come from x to d and that should be the the target so let me draw a box around there so you know what I'm trying to explain to you so the 618 level comes in around there so that is what I'm looking at for the the live Gartley pattern 
do you think this will work out guys if you are an experienced Gartley pattern trader let me know what your thoughts are you probably understand Gartley pattern and you trade it a lot more than I do so you can give me some pointers of what your thoughts are on it if you are new to this guys I'll definitely recommend reading up on it and definitely do back testing guys and um, if you if I get enough views for this video I'll, sh I'll show you some examples from previous Gartley patterns I took in a couple in Bitcoin I've, I've got I think three or four in Forex last year if I can remember I, I, I do a lot of trading and some of them are probably not perfect Gartley patterns but they they I, I like to keep an eye out for them like I've said so thank you very much for watching this video guys I hope you've enjoyed it and um, just a quick recap this is what you look for guys initially the two simple things I look for is the 618 retracement C kind of not going above A and then D kind of coming around 786 level if I see that then I start doing all this fib work and see if it works and I follow this kind of three four five steps and see if it's a Gartley pattern do not get very very strict about each fib level initially Initially, just try to draw it look at price action keep an eye out for it and then see if the pattern plays out like you're expecting it to so hopefully guys the video is going on quite long um, like I didn't want it to keep you guys too long I wanted to give you a short update and um, all the essentials in one video I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope I've done a decent job of explaining it to you if you have enjoyed it guys please smash that like button subscribe to my channel also guys, share this video with your friends and family and um, no, this is all free information it's a free tutorial I'm not asking you for taking my course or anything all I want is guys share this video with your friends if you think your friends will find it helpful and give it a like follow me on Twitter guys I try to update you guys with trades and and on YouTube I try to do long analysis if, if there's any coins you want me to uh, analyze um, you can go to my uh, YouTube channel and find out there's I, I try to take feedback from people I talk about some of the coins that I like uh, you can see some of the coins here that I look for but I've been doing a lot of forex trading uh, lately because forex has been really volatile especially with pound news and what's going on um, you probably think us Brits are crazy and some of the pound moves have been brutal I, I was really tempted to trade this euro USD um, trade when it was dropped uh, sorry the GBP great British pound and US uh, euro trade this looked like it was a new kind of uh, this was my inclination that it was going to happen but I was too scared to trade guys and I, I wouldn't advise anyone to trade this because this trade could ruin your account I know people that have gone bust trying to trade this and when it was dropping I was so tempted to buy it when it was going up I had to resist myself uh, I could have made again with Forex I do a lot of high leverage CFT trading and 200 pips guys that would be my month's worth if I did a leverage trade on that I'd be happy for a month uh, that could be literally one month's trade for me so guys I hope you've enjoyed that video let me know what your thoughts are if there's any feedback if you want me to do some different videos or some more tutorials want to want me to do a live trading with Gartley pattern any coins you want me to like let me know and comment below so thank you very much for watching this video guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and guys I'll see you guys with another great video just finally guys if you want to win $250 worth of XRP make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and leave your XRP address in the comment section below and if you want more help with any technical analysis just email me and I'll try to help you out so thank you guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much